Hello everyone, just a short little review on the Steel Series H wireless gaming headset. PC, PS4, PS3, basically anything with an optical out, they work on. I was looking for a new headset for the PS4 mainly, as the ones I had were PS3 headsets, and to be quite honest, they were just kind of crap on the PS4 plus they were wired and I was always a snob about wired versus wireless the PS3 headsets that I was using was first of all it was the Turtle Beach DPX21 the surround sound and never liked these headsets there was always a hiss coming off them some people say if you turn down the chat volume that I got rid of the hiss but it never really did so I never really liked the DPX 21s even with the DSS the surround sound on these was good but not great anyway moving on I also used the AX Triton Pros they were my main PS3 hex headset and these were very good still are for the PS3 but they weren't great with the PS4 to be quite honest Surround sound is actually better on the DPX 21s than it is on the Triton Pros. Even though the Triton Pros has, I think it's four speakers in each cup, but any headset with four speakers in one cup is not great because it's just a, such a small space to put in four speakers, so it's just not very good. So they were my gaming headsets that I was using and then we purchased the wireless H and this is basically for people with PS4s just to tell you how to set them up and everything the headsets themselves absolutely fantastic headset I'm not going to really tell you too much about them there's loads of other videos on YouTube telling you about how they function and everything else that's the headset themselves. They are extremely comfortable. They are light. They are heavier than the Turtle Beach DPX 21s, but they're actually lighter than the Triton Pros, and they're wireless and completely wireless. This is the transmitter box that comes with them. As I said, I'm not going to show too much about how to set, do all that kind of stuff because. There's loads of videos on it. Anyway, to set it up for your PS4, all you really have to do is the wires at the back. If I get into the wires at the back, or just turn the damn thing around to show you, I suppose it'd be easier. Right, for your PS4 to set it up, all you have to do is, if we can focus, sorry, because I'm actually using my iPad. Right, this one here is your HDMI cable, or sorry, your USB cable, which actually plugs into the back here and into the front of your PS4. That will enable the uh, the chat feature. And on the back you have your optical in, which comes from your PS4, into your box. You also have a DC power cable if you want to plug it in. I don't because basically if the PS4 is turned off then the box itself will turn off but if you use the power cable the box will stay on until you unplug it from the mains so I just use it that way I also use them plugged into my TV so I got another optical here which I just swap so I can actually use them on my TV watching movies or whatever else from my external hard drive or anything else so anyway basically just to, it's that simple you just plug in those two cables then you go to your you go to your box I'm trying to hold this as steady as I can as you can see I have it set up for PlayStation you can just go to source press in the button PlayStation TV, aux, aux is basically if it plugged in also for if I want to plug my phone into the back so I can listen to music, walk around the house wirelessly. So that's basically the setup. 
and all you do is just go onto your PS4. I'm not going to walk you through that because it's, it's it even says it in the instruction manual, so it's it's easy enough. You just go to settings, you go to visual and audio, you just enable Dolby surround sound, and that's basically it. And they work like a charm. So, what are they like sound wise? Now, audio wise. If you're using the aux at the back, the cable in, or to your phone, it is absolute garbage. Really bad. Now, I'm not an audiophile, but the audio is very poor. Now, with that said, if you are listening to music through your PS4 or through your TV, it is absolutely fantastic. It's not top of the line, of course, because they're not made for audio, for music. But the music is, it actually does sound very, very good. So, obviously I would not buy them for music, as they are gaming headsets. So, more importantly, what are they like gaming-wise? Well, believe it or not, they are absolutely fantastic. They're crystal clear. The only downside is the bass is not fantastic. For explosions and things in Battlefield 4, it does the job, don't get me wrong. But it's not overly powered, it's underpowered. It could be turned up a few notches, and who knows, maybe Steel Series in the future might release a firmware update that might enhance the bass. Now, you can use the equalizer on the base station to play around with bass, etc. But even doing that, it doesn't really improve things much. Of course, you've got your the Steel Series famous retractable mic, retractable mic. When you mute, the top here goes red, and it just slides in out of the way. They're very comfortable. As I say, gaming wise, they are absolutely fantastic. They are totally wireless. I was thinking, looking at reviews of them, that you had to plug a cable from the headsets into your PS4 controller. To enable the chat feature, you don't. You just set it up, follow the instructions that come in the box for the PS4, and your mic works perfectly. The mic quality isn't top of the line, but it is very good for gaming, and I would highly recommend it. They are just a very, very good headset. Bad points the price, they retail at 300 euro. Which would be around 250 260 sterling, I presume. $300. Um, building quality is fantastic. It's a soft leather with memory foam inside, so it's supposed to basically remember the shape of your head. Same on top. Memory foam, soft leather. Uh, some people were saying that they found them tight out of the box. I didn't. I actually found them very comfortable. I played a couple of sessions, Call of Duty, Battlefield 4, etc. And I had no issues whatsoever. So, do they work with the PS4? Yes, they work with the PS4 absolutely flawlessly. Uh, two seconds to set up. Well, let's say 60 seconds to set up from start to finish. You just plug in those two cables, the USB cable and the Ethernet and the fiber cable or the optical cable cable you put in the battery into your head into your headphones and you just press pair pair and it pairs within two or three seconds and off you go and you're good to go it really is that simple out of the three from audio wise for gaming between the turtles and the the AX Pros and the Steel Series, I am totally very, very shocked that I have to say, gaming wise, the wireless Steel Series is actually better than the other two headsets, audio wise. And I am really genuinely shocked with that. So, basically, that's it. I hope that helps people out. As I said, they work flawlessly with the PS4. So, hopefully, that'll help people out. and. Happy gaming, guys.
one more thing guys that I forgot the PlayStation I PlayStation camera for the PS4 when you connect your base station your headphones to them that no longer functions in other words you can't say PlayStation home screen PlayStation power etc etc because it turns the camera mic off and activates the mic on the headphones and it doesn't matter whether you have the headset on or off so guys that's basically it